Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the real frame. This is where I think stuff starts getting exciting. The only thing this video won't cover is broaching out the center hole and tapping a few other holes. I'll show you guys that stuff when I get around to making the brooch. I'm going to try to fit a lot in this video, so I'll be forgoing the usual tool introductions. You've already seen most of them, and if you need any further info, just ask in the comments. If you haven't seen my other videos, you can catch up by going to the playlist in the video description. I'm going to start by finding the center of the work with this coaxial indicator. This thing makes it super easy to find the middle of round things in the mill. Just keep turning the ways until the needle stops moving. Once we're in the center, we'll zero out the DRO. All of these holes are located using X and Y coordinates from that 0, 0 reference we set up earlier. Setting up a pattern of holes and touch DRO is pretty simple. You just fill in the circle radius, the number of holes in the pattern, and then where you want the pattern to start if it's not going to be on 0, 0. Once you set it up, just select the work points on the right and re-zero your axes to begin cutting. This set of holes will hold the main shaft on eventually. This set of holes fastens the clicker to the anti-reverse gear. Before I can make the next set of cuts, I'll need to make a fixture plate for the rotary table specific to this project. The real frame is a little difficult to hold onto for the cuts I'm about to make, and this will help out a lot. The fixture plate will consist of a pre-prepared half-inch thick round piece of aluminum with a set of tapped holes drilled in the center to hold on the workpiece and some bigger holes around the edge to hold it on to the rotary table. This end will counter bore the fasteners down into the plate.
And that's it for the fixture plate. I think it looks pretty cool just by itself. First task here is to square up the rotary table on the mill. This pair of holes will attach the real frame to the real foot. I know I haven't drilled these holes in a real foot yet, I'm going to do it eventually. For the rest of the cuts on this piece, the measurements are all going to be angular on the rotary table itself. Finish pass here will clean up the edge. I did a real bad job filming these edge holes. Pretty much all we've got is the first hole and the last hole, but I think you can get the idea from that. The last thing to do here is to polish the part up a little bit. This is by no means the final polish, I just figured for this video it would be nice to have it looking good. Just before final assembly of this project, all the pieces are going to get a real polish. But this will work for now. Well thanks for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see the rest of the videos, there's a link to a playlist in the description below.